All right. I'm going to hurt her. We're getting and I don't inside. Ruin me. So there's a message. I don't want to hurt her and I don't want to ruin me. So I would have to be authentic to be truly me. It would ruin me if I was anything other than who I was. So if I'm careful and ease my way into it, yeah. <laughs> divine masculine and the divine feminine. You know what's interesting? They're both surrendering. He's got one arm up, she's got one arm up, and the other one is wrapped around the other person. Learn from the animals, learn from nature. The mother, and she's holding her baby in her, right underneath the right side. She's got her arm curled around it. She's up overlooking her forest jungle below. Gorgeous. Have you turned your back to the table? Have you been punished? Has someone turned you around? It looks like someone took your head off and you're crouching down behind that table. Maybe you're watching something out there. You look like you're trying to protect yourself. Why is that? You're not seeing things clearly because you're burned out. You're just exhausted. You need to freaking give yourself a rest. Give yourself a break. It's not all pl work, 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 work. I know you're watching me. Look, your eyes so clearly looking right at me. You know what I'm saying. Stop working so hard, she says to herself. Dead tree makes home for this beautiful live vine. Hello, courthouse. Hello, Belle. Hello, twins. We're in Fay Canyon. This is the Valley of the Cats, but also Ganesh. I see him often everywhere throughout here. But right now, I have been seeing a lot of feminine energy. Mothers that are raising children by themselves, doing hard work because the men are probably off at war or something. But what I'm seeing right now is this great chief in front of us. He's got a cap on sideways. The guy's a gangster. I hear in the message, I was a gangster before I was a healer. <laughs> I totally hear it. And on the front is a face. And on this face, there's a cat facing us. And in all truth, it's Scooby-Doo. So this guy was probably dealing drugs. And look at this guy kissing the dog right next to him, total dog, golden retriever. And then this person has got a gun pointed at me. Wow, this is a really deep story, but I'm not uh, putting this away. And I immediately see Pac-Man with an army helmet that doesn't fit him right. It looks more like a, it looks like a wrinkled, dirty beach hat. It's got a feather in it though, dude. But anyway, the woman's coming towards him. First I thought, oh, Pac-Man's about to eat her. I don't think so. Look, she's a fairy. Look at her beautiful long green hair. Light silvery green. He's like, whoa, it's Beauty and the Beast. Fake style. I look at that and know that that was a lamb's head, but said dog. There's a message in that. Look at the eyelashes. They're like a little crown. How sweet is this one? Yes, you are. I don't know if I want you up there. Yeah. The guardians all around us. We are, and I'm thinking we can jump down right here instead of have to go through the bush and slice our legs up. I think that's always preferable. <laughs> that's preferable, thanks. I see Ganesh, the white elephant, but then when I pull back, I see a woman and she's got braids down the front and a crown, a gold crown. She's got a light colored coat and she's leaning forward and drinking from a pool in front of her. Or maybe, no, she's got her arms folded. She's looking down into her forest. So I'm hugging this one and I'm like, God, she, she felt so good. There was no ants on her. And I looked at her and I'm like, dude, she's been through it. 
Danielle said she got a strike. She got strike right through her. But she's here to support me. Right? And Danielle just said it's never too late. You're never too old. Right? She's been through it, but she's here to support me. I like that.